early, I think it was around about February um, 2012, coming off the curve in 200 metres, turned for the straight and um, ripped my hamstring off the, off the bone. Um, and I remember having surgery on it and the, the surgeon saying, well, we're not 100% sure where you're going to end up at. I sort of never really accepted that. <laughs> I never really thought that I wasn't ever going to get back to it, um, even to the, gr to the degree of that I, he just sort of said and I said, yeah, okay, whatever. I'll, it just didn't, just didn't process through my body that, that I was ever not going to be able to have a sprint again. So, um, and then overcoming that and being on the other side of it is pretty much realising that um, if I can overcome that, I can pretty much overcome anything. Originally in uh, 2013, early 2013 in January, we got the privilege to go over there and uh, work with uh, Mr Wilson uh, for three, uh, two weeks I think it was and um, just being in that environment and understanding how his philosophy around the track uh, is, is just great and you can bring that back to your own, own training. And I still got, I got to meet up with him at the World Relay Championships, at the IWF World Championships in Moscow and still, he's still giving me out support and belief that uh, I can make it to the bit, to the top. So in order to, to better my best, I've had to do a lot, a lot of sacrificing, both financially, emotionally and, and all that. Um, earlier, uh, last year, we had the privilege of um, bringing out Xavier Brown, uh, a former athlete in Jamaica and also now a coach who's worked under Glenn Mills and Maurice Wilson. And he came out here for three months just to pretty much work with me, work with me, me and James Kermond to really just refine our skills and remember what we've learned in Jamaica. Um, and he was a great help. He gave um, both me and my coach a lot of advice on how to approach things, uh, worked with different sessions um, and really just made me a better well-rounded athlete. Yeah, Glenn Mills is exactly the same. Um, everyone throws out a lot of respect for Mr Mills. Um, He's like a father figure to his track club, races track club, and um, that's what probably gets the best out of his athletes. And uh, I felt that when I was doing work with him, that he sort of took me under his arm and really um, got the best and, you know, understood what dr was driving me to be the best. Before um, going to Jamaica and seeing Bolt train, that I th we all thought, you know, it was a lot of raw talent, there was a lot of just genetics there. And um, it wasn't until we got there and we spoke to Bolt and got to see him <laughs> lying on the track screaming in pain and agony that we sort of respected the work that he has to do to be the best. And then it sort of really honed in that you need to respect the sport and um, be able to get to the top, you have to work hard and it's going to be a lot of pain and sacrifice. Being in that environment training in Jamaica and having the coaches and obviously athletes like Bolt and Weir telling you you can do it, and then them replicating it and then them actually doing it and seeing uh, how they've become so great just really um, humanises the whole thing and saying, well, if I do the work and I train hard, what's stopping me? And that's where I sort of draw the belief from, is that um, the sky's the limit. If you do the work, the possibilities are endless.